I just found a brand new AI tool that allows you to create UI and UX production ready designs in under three minutes without being a professional designer. You simply type in exactly what you want. For example, modern dashboard for a finance app and it instantly generates a clean on-brand interface that you can export straight into Figma. And you can use this to design landing pages, mobile apps, dashboards, client prototypes, and anything else that you could think of all from a simple prompt. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is, what you can do with it, and three crazy use cases you could start to use this for. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is called UX Pilot because this allows you to go from a prompt to a fully designed production ready UI in under three minutes without having any design skills. For example, we could come over here and say, I want a CRM dashboard for real estate agents to show leads, active deals, and scheduled showings, making it look like Notion. We click on generate right here, and then this is going to go through, and this is actually going to create this for us. We could see that this is going through and actually creating this. Now, we could come over here and actually look at these different design specs over here. For example, we could change between a wireframe or between hi-fi. We could change whether or not we want this to be for a desktop or for mobile. And we could see down here that we go through and actually can create either single screen, which will be just one screen that's actually being generated. Or if we needed to, we could actually go through and describe the overall context of how this flow should look. And it will go through and actually generate all of that for us. And we could see that we could come over here and add in multiple screens. We could use all these different prompt tools and different prompt examples here. We could click on this right here, which goes through and uses deep design or max. You're going to use deep design if you want richer layouts with less input, and you're going to use max if you want larger, more detailed results. But you guys get the point. You could go through here and you can change this. In addition to that, if you come over into advanced model settings right here, you could choose between their standard model, between blitz model, or you can create your own custom model if you wanted to. You could select a bunch of different themes here by just importing a JSON file, and you could choose between a bunch of different variants or how many you want created up to a maximum of four. So as we could see, this now went through and this actually created this. So we're able to actually look at this and see what it looks like. We can move it around here. We could preview it. I'm going to click on preview right here. And this is actually going to make this full screen. And we could see exactly what this will look like. Now, this literally went through and made this in less than three minutes, which is absolutely incredible. And we'll be able to actually click around in here and see what all of this actually looks like. Now, if we come back over here, we could see that we could use a design as context. We could interact with this. We could save this for Figma, or if we wanted to, we could generate different options off of this. For example, if we wanted to create a predictive heat map, we'd be able to do that. If we wanted to do different variations of this, we would be able to do this. And if we wanted to create a flow from this, we would be able to do this. In addition to that, we could view the source code right here or come over here into a bunch of different edit options. Now, on top of that, what this makes this really easy to do is just to come over here. And if we wanted to click on this, we could add a screen over to our right right here. And again, we could see what this is going to look like. So I'm going to have this actually build out what the leads dashboard is going to look like. So build now what the leads dashboard will look like. And if we wanted to, we could attach an image or a PDF, or if we had something to reference, we could actually click on that here. But for this, I'm just going to click on generate. And then we could see right here, this is going to go through and this is going to build me out something else. What I really like about this is how it uses this canvas style right here so that you can see a bunch of different designs all at once. Now we could see exactly what this is actually going to look like under the lead section. And we could go through and we could generate this for each part. And I want you to notice how good this actually is. So this took into consideration what the design elements looked like over here in order to keep the consistent for this leads page right here, which is incredibly useful because if you used other AI tools to try to pull something like this off, it probably would have generated something completely random. Now, we can actually come over here and create a flow also. So what I'm going to do is I want to create the sign up flow from someone registering to them filling out their information to them beginning to see what their CRM looks like. Now, 
we could come over here, we can enhance this if we want. So I'm gonna click on enhance prompt just because I think that we could actually make this prompt a little bit better. This is going to go through, this is going to generate this and we could see how much better of a job this actually did in order to create this. And now from here, if we wanted to, we could come over here and we could add in additional screens. So I'm gonna come over here and I am going to add in pricing screen right here. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to add in cancel billing screen and we could see that now this is going to go through and this is actually going to generate what this entire flow is going to look like over here now in addition to that while this goes off and does this and we could see that this is actually getting generated i wanted to come over here and show you that they also have this tool right here which is ux design review essentially what you're able to do is upload in one of your ux designs right here and you can enhance your designs spark creativity with fresh ideas and sharpen your ux skills so if you already have existing designs or an existing website you upload them in here and this will actually spit out a review. Now, while this is going through and actually generating this, I did wanna highlight a few other things. First and foremost, workflow integration, because you can export these directly into Figma right here and plug and play into your existing dev or design system for a seamless handoff from idea to being able to build things. In addition to that, we could see just from this right here that this goes through and creates things incredibly quickly. So this is gonna save you anywhere from two to four weeks of design back and forth per sprint or per Per feature because you're going to be able to do that right here pretty quickly in addition to that you don't have to be a designer in order to use these tools this is for founders pms engineers doesn't matter who you are you're going to be able to use this tool and use it really quickly on top of that i did want to highlight that this tool right here has a 4.9 rating and is trusted by more than 300,000 users so if we come back over here we could see that this actually went through and this generated what the pricing screen is actually going to look like and we could see what the cancel screen is going to look like and what is really cool here that this actually gets you to go through and see a bunch of different alternatives like offering a discount or pausing your subscription or downgrading your plan and it did that automatically without may actually having to do that now we could go through we could change this if we wanted to we could share these with folks if we wanted to and this right here is incredible that now you could do this with out needing to be a designer. And another thing that I did wanna show off is if we come over here, you could see that there is a Figma plugin. What this is going to allow you to do is connect UX Pilot and Figma. So you could click try right here. It's going to allow you to connect your accounts. And then from here, you could import things into Figma or you could import things into UX Pilot. For example, if we're in Figma over here, and let's say that we have this whole design template that we have here for what cards should look like or what carousel should look like, what calendars should look like, we can actually take this design and import it into UX Pilot to make sure things stay consistent. You're just gonna double click, you're gonna click on plugins, you're gonna click on UX Pilot right here, and you can see right here that you can import this as a local component or a collection. And you'll be able to name this right here, and you'll actually be able to access it from inside of UX Pilot. And you could also do the reverse if you wanted to. Let's say that you were in Figma over here, we could click over here, we could click on plugin, we could click on UX Pilot, and then we could do design from in here we could retrieve things in figma from in here for example let's say we wanted this pricing screen in here we could actually get this into figma we could export from the web design systems diagrams you could see that we could do so much more here for example if we click on this this will then import into here now, before I show you three other crazy use cases for this, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with UX Pilot today for free. On top of that, if you do decide to upgrade to a paid plan, make sure that you use code MAKE15 in order to get 15% off. It's the easiest way that I've found to make production ready UI and UX designs without wasting your time or being a design expert. Now, use case number one that I wanted to show off here is getting this to design a SaaS dashboard. So we could come over here and say, make a modern dashboard for an AI analytics platform with a sidebar and a dark theme. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna design this for mobile because in the past we did it for desktop with the other example. We could click on generate right here and then this is going to go off and this is going to begin to create this. Okay, so now that this is done, we could come over here, we could zoom in on this and see exactly what this looks like. We could see AI analytics, we could see user, we could see notification, all of this different stuff here. We could see the performance analytics, we could see the top AI models, we could see the recent activity. And if we wanted to, we could come in here, we could add notes, we could change things, we could select things, but overall, 
this looks pretty good, I think. And if we wanted to, we would literally just click on this and we would be able to interact with it. We could generate different options. For example, if we wanted to actually build a flow off of this, we could go through and we could do this right here. Or if we wanted to generate another variation over here, we could come over here and do this. And I'm actually gonna click on three and try generating three other different variations of this. And we could see that these are actually going to get generated down here. And what this is going to allow me to do is have six different variations because I actually clicked on three variations twice. So this is going to go through and this is going to design a bunch of different variations. So we're not just going with the first thing that we have created, but we could actually see what multiple of them look like. Okay, so now we could actually come over here and we could see all of these different design options that we have here, which I love because this completely changes what this looks like. Although this might look very subtle, these different elements are completely different. And personally, I actually like, I think this one the best down here because I think these colors just pop. I think these modules just pop. And I think that this looks super modern. Use case number two is going to be completely different. We're going to come over here and actually get this to design a landing page for us. So I want an attractive startup landing page for a productivity AI tool with bold colors and clear CTAs. Now we're going to go back to actually doing this for a desktop right here. We're going to click on generate and this is going to go off and this is going to build this for us in minutes. Okay, so now we could come over here. We could see exactly what this landing page is going to look like. I like this right here, but what I also want to do is see what this is going to look like on a mobile device. So we're going to click on generate right here, and then we'll be able to see exactly what it should look like both on a desktop, on a computer view, and then also from a mobile device. Awesome. So now we could see what this actually looks like right here as mobile. And I actually like this a lot. So again, this looks awesome. We see what it looks like on mobile. We see what it looks like on desktop over here. If we wanted to, we could put these into whatever developer platform we're going to be using, or we could save this for Figma instantly right here. Now, that last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and actually get design feedback or actually recreate this website right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna come back to the dashboard right here, and I am going to come over here and I'm gonna click on review. We could click on this and then I'm gonna upload all of the screenshots that I just took of this website right here, and we will actually be able to get feedback here of how good it is. So we could come over here, we could upload this, outline the scope. I'm gonna say, I want to know how to improve the conversion rate on this landing page. Now, what we are also going to do is we're going to come over here, we're gonna click on start the review, and then this is going to go through, and this is going to determine how we could actually improve the conversion rate on this specific landing page that we just uploaded right here. And by the way, again, this comes from over here. This tool makes it going viral on Instagram and TikTok 10 times easier. And if we wanted to, we could ask this different question. So almost instantly, this went through, did a review of the design. We could see the call to action design, headline and messaging, value proposition, visual hierarchy, trust elements, and pricing transparency. And this goes through and tells us what we can change. Now, in addition to that, we can come over here and we can actually upload more images here. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm actually gonna upload other images of this. For example, we could upload this one right here. And then we could come over here and say, how can we improve this to explain how the app works better for users? And now what this is going to do is this is going to go through and this is going to give us more feedback on how we could do this. We could keep going through with all parts of the website in order to get feedback on how we can actually change these. And we could then take all this stuff, insert it into a new design prompt and build a better landing page. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a bunch of other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.